yeah. sometimes. Yeah. No, for I, getting those back throws. Yeah, I think they're definitely grappler type characters and as Luigi, well. Luigi for comboing. Yeah, of it's obviously very, very crazy. Let's see what these two can do for us here. Town and CD yet again for starters. Oh my goodness, he tried to find the, <laughs> the setup there into the Cyclone from that dare. Not quite going to be able to find it though. <laughs> Interesting, just bats out of that situation. <laughs> and reestablishing re establishing himself and finding a ton of percentage ever since that early opening. This has been all Tuata. Yeah, and right here, Tuata just uh, uh, trading with all those aerials, able to get a lot of percent just off of this stupid up air. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Mario's up smash, but airborne. <laughs> yeah, basic. That's basically what it is. And right now, I think he just needs one back throw at the ledge to be able to seal out this stock. Right now, you can see he's trying to play very, very carefully around the ledge and try to figure out that opening. And uh, does that thing not get stale? What the heck just <laughs> happened? I was able to take the stock. <laughs> Hitting pretty hard, man. Yeah, that was crazy. And Ness, I think, a pretty underrated character. Uh, because we don't usually see him anymore at like top top level besides yeah. like Poe. So I think a, a ton of people tend to sleep on the fact that this character is still in the game. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think Ness is very good. Obviously, the only thing you got to do is uh, oh. try and take advantage of Ness's disadvantage position. Obviously, that edge guard or the um, recovery is not the greatest. But again, like you said, like since there's not been a lot of them, a lot of people have been forgetting how to fight this. That, or fight this matchup. Oh, all we're going for the old school, that pre-patch. <laughs> that, that Cyclone kill off the top. Yeah, not quite going to be able to find it, though. But that's still in a pretty good position. Going to just jump air dodge right back to the stage, but gets caught empty hopping just a little bit too much. Oba going to be able to take that stock <laughs> with the up smash. Wait, oh my god. I can already uh, see you screaming again from those hoppers. <laughs> Breaking, breaking out with that neutral air. Ness's aerial, aerial game, pretty strong as well. Yeah. Tuata has been getting a lot of this roll in reads with that up smash. I'm sorry, that upper covering, covering the retreating options from Oba. Ooh, the yo-yo catching him off guard. And once more, we see Oba try to cross him up with rolls and not really working out so far. There's a back throw though, taking him off stage. PK Thunder try to catch something. Not quite. The nair just gonna go right through it. That midi nair helping him avoid that that nest up B. Right, there's the back air, take him off stage, not quite. Falling up air, gonna get a lot of good damage thus far. Still, still not out of it, and just as I say that, <laughs> if you could only see Sedgehog's face right now. <laughs> I have a personal grudge against Ness. I am terrible at fighting that character. I don't just that's that's another thing. But I I, I, I am to that. I, I am I am to. stunned. Like I know Fallen put out a video saying staling doesn't matter because like the amount of percent you gain from from the the move itself counteracts the staling. But at the same time, like come on, that was like seven <laughs> in a row. Like something has to happen there. But uh, you know what? Whatever. So I they're gonna be able to get that first game. Well. Like he could have done back throw still. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. He has, he has two solid kill options there. And then obviously his back air and all that other stuff is really good too. But we're going to be moving on into the second game here on FD. Let's see if we get more, a little bit more of an upper experience again. Once more. Yeah, Oba had a really big opening in the beginning and it wasn't really able to get much else in that first game. But right now, that Nair to out smash already getting so much percent onto him. Yeah, Tuata not really respecting the priority from that uh, Nair. Yeah, that's something you really got to be careful about. He's, you saw him again try to jump into him to try and get something started, yeah. but the Nair just gets him right out of that situation. Again, another falling Nair into a forward air. Let's see if we can find something. There's a back air, though. And Tuata very proficient with these aggressive recoveries. Oh, my God. And I'll be it. <laughs> that's going to be it. It's kind of rare to see a Ness go off stage in that manner, but it worked out. Yeah. And the multi-hit move, I'm sure, threw off Oba just a little bit. No jump from him right now. Let's see if he just does down B, and there it is to be able to take out that stock. And he tried to make a little bit of damage, <laughs> revenge from, from that up B. Oh! Plata just throwing out a lot of aerials right now, trying to be as safe as possible. We want to force the Luigi to approach him. That's really what Ness wants. Is this man going to be crazy? <laughs> and try to go for a PK rocket kill. All the ones more trying to find this opening to put up Plata off stage. Yeah, just responds back with the fair, so going to be able to keep his positioning. The PK fire not coming out, doesn't quite catch a landing. It seems like both of these guys have uh, 
a very great grasp of when they want to go in aggressively against each other at the ledge. Mm -hmm. And so far, the ones that been, that's been getting the, more, the most out of it is Tuata. Oh, and a landing <laughs> up there. Now, this time, Oba is not respecting the get out of jail free options that Ness has. Uh, Jabs to Force Smash, not quite going to be able to get it. Tuata tried to approach in there, but once he saw that happen, he just ran away like, okay, I'm done with this. Let's 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 try to figure out another way to get in. <laughs> yeah, he he has to be patient right now. He does have the superior kill option in that back throw, but <laughs> well, the pre patch combo coming out. <laughs> the throw into the cyclone. I will be able to take that set, or not that set, the uh, that next game. So we're in a game three situation here. All about coming in clutch. And sometimes also like NES players tend to abuse a little bit too much of their their air dodge. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe Ova aware of it and decisive at the moment of punishing. Yeah. What's gonna be the counter pick right now is Battlefield. Alrighty. Twada deciding to go to Battlefield for this third game. And let's see if Ova is gonna get an another one of those explosive starts. Uh, and actually going to capitalize on it because we saw uh, the last two games he had a great opening but he didn't quite manage to close it out at the very beginning. Yeah, up smash try to catch him on the jump air dodge, not quite in middle find it though. See what he does with this grab, double fair, triple fair, still going with the nair oh, in the back like air. Cheek. So much damage onto him right now. Great, great damage. Maybe this is the momentum that Oba needs to close out this set. Yeah, but it's still not over. He still has a whole stock before. Uh, the way I like to think about it in Smash 4 is that you don't really want to think about the leads until the stock's gone. Because right. pretty much anything can happen in this game. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. I mean, we could still see like seven uppers from Ness. And <laughs> or a jab to force Smash to close out that stock. And now Oba with a pretty comfortable lead right now. Feeling a lot more adapted to, to the matchup. And wow, Oba just maneuvering right past that PK Thunder. Gonna go for the high recoveries. <laughs> Wants to avoid that yo-yo as much as possible. What? Three in a <laughs> row, just throw it out. Yeah, he just uh, could not get it to happen, though. Right now, Twada just being really careful, spacing out these aerials. Want to make Oba try and commit to something. There's a Nair into a forward air. Makes the most out of his opening right there. <laughs> I like it that Oba seems to be finding these grabs much more often. Oh, and he just tried to do it right there. Not going to be able to find anything on that Cyclone. And you can see Twata trying to find his up air like it has been working out in the past. But I think Oba is used to it right now. But oh. again, no tech on the stage spike. But he saved his jump, so he's going to be able to make it back. As, as you were saying, like pretty comfortable lead right now for, for Oba. He's still able to rack up some more percentage. And even if Tuata is able to take the stock, like, he's still working on a pretty decent lead. Oh, trying to find jab, jab into down smash, not quite getting to find it. Just down throw up air. Let's see if he can try to follow up with something. And a falling up oh. air into these aerials and ending with the fair. Excellent conversion coming in from Tuata. Spacing out those aerials once more. Oh man, that was very, very close. And the extra knockback that you get from getting hit while charging his smash could have taken a little bit of, of effect there. Yeah, but just air dodge right through it, does not want to try and challenge it. Probably would have been a trade it, not in his favor. Tuata being very airborne, let's see if Oba is going to try and use an anti-aerial up smash to seal this out. Ooh, I like that lift from the down B and then immediately answering with an aerial to call out Oba's approach. There's a jab sting him off stage yet again. He's going to drift back to the ledge, make it back safely into center stage. And All of a sudden, this is down to the wire match. Precisely that, and <gasps> oh, <which gasps> didn't manage to turn around. I think that was going to be turn around back throw. Yeah, but he was not in the right oh position. And just God, goes down no. there with the spike. <laughs> <laughs> he went for it all, and he got it. Yeah, I mean, he was able to make the most out of the position because Twada was not facing him after when he was in shield, so he had to take all that time to turn around, and he was just there with the jabs into yeah. that spike. And what a great way to end our block here. <laughs>